Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 5th of 2023, well, it is titled in the center of the Trifid Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is the nebula known as the Trifid Nebula. Now we see the prominent dust lanes that come together, giving it its name for being divided into three there. Now what we see here are three different types of nebulae all together. The dark filaments are dark dusty areas. So they're not the absence of material, but the presence of enough dusty material to block out the light from behind it. We also see other types of nebulae here, including the reflection nebula up at the top, where we see the blue glow from dust around hot stars which have recently formed. So when the dust is dense enough, we can see it as a dark nebula. When it's the remnants of the dust around a hot star, it scatters the blue light. And that gives that their distinct blue color. Now the blue wavelengths are scattered, they are shorter wavelengths and the dust is better able to sc scatter the shorter wavelengths than the longer red wavelengths. And that's one of the reasons when we look to try to look into dusty areas, we use the longer wavelengths, things like infrared that allows us to penetrate and see into regions that would be otherwise invisible. Now, of course, the red and pink colors that we see are also due to hydrogen gas. So those are what we call an emission nebula. And that is the glow of hydrogen gas, which has been excited by hot stars. So hot stars that form near the center emit a lot of ultraviolet radiation that cause the hydrogen to become ionized electrons stripped off of the hydrogen atoms. And then once that happens, then we begin to see the they recombine and when they do that they'll go through and give off different types of light and in the visible portion of the spectrum for hydrogen one of those prominent colors is red so we get that distinct red color due to uh, the hydrogen gas which makes up most of the nebula now when we look here we're seeing part of a star forming region and a relatively young one only a few hundred thousand years old. So it's still in the process of forming stars and forming some very massive stars toward the center. And there was they will this pro star, pro star formation process will continue. So it does not finish all at once the most massive stars form first and give us the beautiful nebulae that we get to see here. But the star formation process continues until a lot of the gas and dust are either used up in forming stars or have been expelled back out into space by the energy from those stars. So those hot stars that form first are also the ones that begin to clear out the nebula and cease the process of star formation. So that was our picture of the day for June 5th of 2023. It was titled in the center of the Trifid Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.